Hi, I'm Jared from Advanced LED Lights, and today we're going to take a look at the data sheet comparison between an XML350 and a 600 watt HPS. Taking a closer look at the color spectrum, we can see the XML350 peaked from 610 to 670 nanometers, and again from 420 to 460. The 600 watt HPS had a peak between 560 to around 590 nanometers, with a slight dip around 570. Glancing at the temperatures, we see that the XML350 reached temperatures of 98 degrees Fahrenheit, or 37 Celsius, while the 600 watt HPS reached temperatures upwards of 250 degrees Fahrenheit, or 121 degrees Celsius. The following images represent a light's footprint from 18 inches, 36 inches, and 48 inches off the ground, projected out on a 4 foot by 4 foot square. Switching to our par per watt data, we can see that the XML350 at 18 inches had a par per watt of 17.23, at 36 inches, 13.26, and at 48 inches, 11.30. The HPS at 18 inches had a par per watt of 10.96, at 36, 6.90, and lastly, at 48 inches, 5.79. So we have a better idea of where these numbers are coming from. Let's break down how it works. In front of you is the same 4 foot by 4 foot grid I mentioned previously. The PAR measurements are taken directly from the center of each individual square. The square on the left represents the XML350, while the square on the right represents the 600 watt HPS. At 18 inches, 36 inches, and at 48 inches. At half the power of the HPS, the XML350 had a running wattage of 336, while the HPS reached 639 watts not including any additional wattage for cooling. Lastly, we reach our noise level. Measured three feet away from each light, the XML350 and the 600 watt HPS both produced 41 decibels of sound. Come check out our products at advancedledlights.com. You'll see more videos like these, articles, and you can always order online or over the phone. And if you have any more questions, we're here to help.